Hey buddy, so this is the side of the yard that we barely walked through ourselves. <laughs> we got a crepe myrtle here, but on it we got passion vine, and this is this it's that purple white one. I forgot what kind it really is, tropical one. Yeah, we got passion vine, we got some beans up in there and we got loofah well we had loofah i i i killed it look look man the loofah got up on the power lines originally the loofah was supposed to be over here grow up on that trellis make that nice little wall what well, kept going climbed up went up there you still see a loofah flower went up there i, I cut it separated it all yesterday morning well, this morning I come and I look. So, yep, here goes the dead loofah plant, right? <laughs> there goes the baby loofah. That was just starting to grow. Ah, that's all right. They say a loofah is the first thing you plant and the last thing you harvest. That's how long it takes to grow. It takes your whole growing season. And I think next year we're going to start it in a pot in the greenhouse. Because, well, we probably got enough. Yeah, we probably had enough time for that to turn. Yeah, we got about two more months before the frost. Almost three. But, uh, yeah, that was a baby loofah right there. And loofah's that thing that you get in the store and you wash your body with. It looks like a sponge. It's actually a, yeah, chop that down. We got the mimosa here. Nitrogen fixture. Um, we had loofah supposed to be on this trellis right here go up and it did it did do good that's its uh base down there yeah and this is my passion vine that look how thick that guy is so she put this here last year and it came back up. I never knew those looked so much like a tree before. These, I just, we grabbed these because they, they flow pretty. They're like the mimosa. Yeah, they'll invade your yard like crazy. You just go through one day and just pull them all out. Root system's very, very weak. But great, uh, nitrogen fixer so we put it all through here so yesterday I came and I just started chopping sideways with the got some pea flowers I know these are edible even the flowers um yeah I just start whacking sideways just to chop off all the top This was that blackberry. I don't think it's dead. I hope it's not dead. I did something different this year with it. But our fig tree's getting uh, taller than us now. And it's, it's so, uh, I guess you say, leafless. Cause uh, yeah, we, we let the vines go all over it. Okay. Here goes a live part. See, I probably did kill this smother plant. Well, it's like five, six years old. Five years old. No. Almost four. Yeah, that's that's Virginia. But 
This gas still got some fruit on it. So. This is the second time it fruited this year. Um, I appreciate it. Tell you the truth, I haven't been over in this corner. Ooh, yeah, it's a spider web. I haven't been over in this corner. In a wow. Seeing if I can find a quick sweet sweet potato or not. No. But, uh, yeah, got distracted, my bear. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, here goes the loofah flowers. So, so we might, we might get a loofah still. Here goes loofah flower. There's been these little bugs all over them. Um, they, they just love the loofah flowers. They're up there too. They climb. I mean, this that plant will take over. From that over there, it had two plants. Took up all the way up over there. Took up all the way over here. Um, we even, you can see some dead in there. We, we tried to kill it out of there, but it snuck around. <laughs> Sneaky loofah. But uh, I don't, I don't know if I have, <gasps> hey. Hey, look at that, baby. We got loofah. <laughs> all right yes and it's still alive all right y'all so uh thank you for this little loofah adventure sorry it took seven minutes i hope y'all have a great day and uh yeah if, if you let your trees get taken over by vines they lose their leaves they'll still try to grow like this shot up oh yeah one more in this one our lemon tree got taken over by vines right but this guy was like nope nope not me and just shot up. But, uh, yeah. Have a great day.